morning. Uh, the Clinton Foundation is under fire, uh, as if I haven't brought them under fire enough, uh, for the excellent work they've been doing in Haiti. <laughs> and what work would that be? Well, I don't know, but I do remember this. We just need cash. I know a lot of people want to send blankets or water. Just send your cash. So what did uh, Presidents uh, Clinton and Bush do with that cash? Well, here's a little tip. And now, a year and a half since the disastrous Haiti earthquake, there are serious questions about the quality of the reconstruction effort being raised by an American news weekly called The Nation. It says one of the biggest reconstruction agencies working in Haiti, the Clinton Foundation, has delivered poor quality, unsafe and inappropriate buildings in their <laughs> efforts to help the population. Lawrence Pollard spoke to Isabel MacDonald and Isabeau Doucette, two reporters for The Nation periodical. They gave him more details about the faults they discovered. The Clinton Foundation announced that they would urgently build hurricane shelters in time for the hurricane season last year. And they're sort of prefab wooden boxes elevated on cinder blocks <laughs> with metal anchoring going into the ground. They're extremely hot and they're not quite adapted to the landscape. Usually when you would have a trailer like this, it would have to be ventilated. There would have to be some kind of air conditioning. The air is extremely humid and dank, and so the walls are starting to mold as well. The, the, every time it rains, <laughs> rain gets in, seeps in. There's watermarks in many of the trailers, and several of them have visibly started to rot. You know, um, Right, so they're, they're wooden, and they're not very ventilated, neither of which sound ideal. What's the experience of the youngsters who are going to school in this kind of combo hurricane shelter school affair? Well, the, as the, the school teachers said, you know, the kids are constantly falling asleep. It's very hard for them to concentrate. As the, as the kids say, their vision goes dark. They get these extreme headaches regularly, not just in the, in the classroom where we found elevated levels of formaldehyde, but across the board. They're just very, very hot. There you go. Good they're job. The old Katrina, they're the old Katrina formaldehyde yeah. laden shelters. Yeah. They've shipped them. Yeah. They've taken them out because they can't use them in Louisiana. They've picked them up and shipped them to Haiti. I'll bet you that that's going on. Of course. Clinton got a deal. He picked up some, uh, some of those Katrina shelters. And this is part of... Uh, so Hillary has suitcase in the box. Uh, uh, I mean, the internet in a suitcase, and Bill has Haitian in a suitcase. That's his. Uh, that's his new moniker. So formaldehyde. The kids are falling asleep, and the, and they're going blind. <laughs> God. Well, I mean, how, why? Where is the? I am outraged that. Oh, meanwhile, Dana Perino spending her time not talking about this, and and Fox News isn't mentioning it. Is are they? No, of course not. And meanwhile, not. they're they're you know they're talking about oh how great the TSA is, unbelievable. Yeah, so kids we have to put up with this on a daily basis. Yeah, the, this sort of coverage is ridiculous. I mean, the fact I mean I'd say ten of the things we brought out today nobody even bothers with. Well, the good news is you don't have to watch any of this crap. All you have to do is just uh, tune into this program twice a week. You can even do one, and you get enough information to depress you. <laughs> we like Abilify. You don't need to take a Bilify. If you're already on an antidepressant, this will work even better. Take no agenda. May cause anal leakage.